Hello, everybody. It's Marcy from wavesofcommunication.com. Welcome to another episode of my Language Facilitation Helpline podcast. The information in this show is designed to equip and empower parents to take action today. Parents are advised to never give away your power as your child's language facilitator to any therapist, teacher, consultant, or even to a specific method or strategy and always honor your unique family's abilities and your own core values before you consciously initiate any action with your child. Most importantly, the strategies and advice provided here are general and not intended to replace personalized consultation. If you want individual coaching and advice, you should visit wavesofcommunication.com to learn how to work with me as a client. Today's podcast episode is an excerpt from one of my Waves of Communication community coaching sessions. This mom has a three-year-old late talker who did suffer from ear infections and ear fluid, and he has some sensitivity to hearing. He also has a behavior where he covers his ears whenever he has some anxiety in public and his mom is really embarrassed by this behavior because it makes him look a lot more severe than he is. Listen in to this coaching session as I talked about this behavior and what we can do. So, yeah, so all going good. I think so I see a lot of development in terms of language, but I think there's some anxiety. Uh, with him so on his birthday everything was going fine he's had a happy day and then suddenly our cousins come in the evening and for about a for about 30 seconds he would just shut his ears and not open yeah and you know and then yesterday our friends came he was absolutely happy and their son he's playing with them but it's just some people when they come in he just shuts his ears so in the past when his ears were had just opened up on their birthday. There was a cake cutting ceremony when there were about, I think, 30 people there and there was a lot of noise and he started crying. So I don't know if he relates to it, to them. Today, yesterday, it wasn't a party. They just came in to wish him. And yeah. it's another cousin of mine whose daughters make a lot of noise. So with him, with them also, when he enters their house, he would just shut his ears for a minute. Yeah. He's fine after that. After that, he's playful with everybody. Everything is just as normal as it could be. But, you know, uh, but for yeah, that I one minute, it's this is, really yeah. weird. This, this, it's just a habit. I think it's just a habit for him. He's like, I just want to make sure it's safe. And then he's like, okay, it's safe. I'm good. And he, because he doesn't do it repeatedly. He doesn't keep doing yeah. it. Right. He just does no. it. The, just, you know, yeah. it's kind of like when, um, even on the video that you sent me, you know, with Peppa Pig, because that was the other yeah. one was Peppa Pig he didn't like, yeah. it would come on. He would just see the picture of Peppa Pig and right away go close his ears. Yeah. Because yeah. He didn't yeah. want to hear it or whatever. So this was his defense mechanism. And it's like, he remembers, yeah. he's very smart. He has a wonderful memory. So yeah. anybody who was before disturbing, he still probably has these sensitive ears. And it yeah. could have been quite sensitive, you know, yeah. if it was very, it, a big difference, you know, um, because it could have been a long time that he was hearing muffled stuff and just yeah. hearing the yeah. things surprising so yeah. yeah i think it's something that it will have it's probably happening less and less in some place like yes. a birthday party is gonna trigger something like that potentially so yeah so, so earlier when we used to sing the birthday song for him he would not like it uh he would just say stop stop he would say stop now uh now both me and my husband we sang the birthday song for him and cut the cake and he was pretty happy and in the end he was like yay you know so that's a big thing that, you know, we both try to sing so that, you know, it's slowly if there are more people, because it's going to be my mom's birthday when we land there and if there are more people, mm -hmm. he could get upset. But he's slowly trying. And when I reach there, I think I'm going to tell my brother and my sister-in-law to sing it about three, four, three, four people together and he should get used to it. Do a little birthday party training, yeah. you know, do a little, in your case, desensitization, you know, birthday yeah. party desensitize. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and remind him that it's fun and there will be candles and 
treats and cake yeah. and you know yeah. these things and friends you know your friends and family all these people so i think that it's going to be it's going to be just fine and he's going to roll yeah. with it you know when he comes to you know especially if it's very different in the city there where yeah. from where it is where you are you know it's very loud it's very congested yeah. you know these kinds of things and you yeah. could see him do some regression. You'll see him do some of that. Expect it, okay? Yeah. It's going to yeah. happen. Because it's yeah. a very, anytime it's different, it doesn't even have to be threatening. It just yeah. for him, when it's new, this is his yeah. reaction. I have seen that if he makes up his mind towards a noise, like we've gone for cricket matches, and he's never shut his ears. I mean, it's so loud there. But... I think once he makes, he processes it and somewhere in his mind, he sets that it's going to be loud. And before that noise is coming, he shuts his ears. Yeah. So he's so been doing it before he even hears it. It's yeah, all mindset. Yeah. It's all mindset. Yeah. So yeah. that's what it yeah. is. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. This is what's so good about you is as soon as you you perceive that anxiety you calm him right away yeah. you reassure yeah. him you let him know it's okay you don't have to yeah. be afraid mommy's right here it's got yeah. it's not out you know yeah. you remind him and you give him the words for it so yeah. Yeah. Um, you know if you anticipate like it's gonna be a birthday party because birthday party is the wrong kind of loud like cricket is yeah. okay kind of loud birthday party yeah. wrong kind of loud and if it's the wrong kind of loud that you anticipate just let him know this is going to be a time you know it's yeah. a birthday party yeah. time so we're going to have loud birthday party time but you know everybody has things that they don't like and yeah, yeah. honor that he used to never like it earlier and we were for the longest time we haven't taken him to any birthday parties because we were scared that he would do something <laughs> like that but yeah. yeah this time when we both were singing together i wanted it to be two three noises so that you know, he gets used to that people singing together because I think his fear is people, um, four or five people singing together. Like in Peppa Pig also, there are four or five people talking together. So I, I think it is that that when he sees that happening, he kind of shuts his ears. Yeah, and you know what? That's a very interesting perception because yeah. we also have been talking about in the school... <laughs> When yeah. there's a crowd, four or five people together, yeah. he's yeah. more intimidated by this yes. than he is with just a couple of people. And yes. it's at the yes. school that he's having still not comfortable, still not yeah. feeling yeah. good about yeah. it yet. So it could be this, you know, just needing to get used to a lot of other people. And, you, you know, remember, yeah. he was very attached to you because yeah. he was very reliant on you, especially before he could hear well. You know, yes. he was yes. a completely attached because he couldn't hear or talk, you know, yes. and then yes. he could hear. And now, you know, he started to explore on his own, but he was, you know, not successful. So he's still yeah. really attached to you. So, yeah. you know, it takes some time to now that he's doing his talking and whatever to get with new people. And it's going to be kind of like you said, when you go to traveling, it's going to yeah. be new people like flood many yeah. new people all the time yeah. all these new yeah. people and 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 if whenever you can you know you know just isolate him with you know to the side with a couple of people so he feels more yeah. comfortable yeah. and get him yeah. and give him some jobs in where he has to communicate with other people you yeah. know yeah. go offer a cup of tea go give yeah. her a snack go take this to bobby you know that kind of stuff so yeah. that um yeah. he he likes to engage with those things. And this is yeah. what you do when you have people at your house anyway. Yeah. So yeah. it's just going to be the same. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So, so he's happy to engage. I haven't, when I tell him, go with and give this to uncle, or this uncle's going to take you to your favorite shop, he's happy to engage with them. I don't see that a problem, really. I think somewhere it's the crowd singing together, singing together, not to talking because you go to malls and there's so much crowd. This yeah, it doesn't show with that. It, in fact, point. he's he, yeah, yeah, he, he's happy well, to go to that. And that you know, when people get together, oh, da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all he doesn't like. Yeah, that's all he doesn't like. So, yeah, maybe that is that's the sensitivity of of noise and and the pepper pig and 
and you know when in the blippy i don't know if you've heard in in beginning when six people are shouting together blippy he would just shut his ears to that so i think is just people shouting together which causes him a little trouble and when all the kids are together in school and he sees them they could make sound together i think that's what yeah he avoids it he just yeah, like he he stays it. away from yeah. it yeah he avoids it yeah, yeah because he just at home when there are kids coming he's happy playing with them there is no you know the other day he says uh, he wears this cat boy jacket he loves it <laughs> he doesn't take it off he's wearing it sleep in that video that i sent he bought six of them already <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's i want this one i want this cat boy jacket you know so yesterday he was sitting with my friend's son and he goes i want mix a truck so he's taking it away from him and he's using it naturally without us saying anything yeah so that's what he's doing and then he says um, i told him now it's dirty it has to be washed so he goes cat boy jacket washing machine wash come <laughs> <So, laughs> So that was like a big After wash machine he's ordering the washing. <laughs> yeah. Get it done. So that means we see a lot of change. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, I think this your shutting business has to end and then a lot of things. Yeah, change. you know, I isn't it crazy how easy the anxiety slips back in so fast. The worry yeah. slips back yeah. in so fast. Yeah. One little thing. I mean, you yeah. know, just like this it that's why yeah. waves of communication is such a good name because something yeah. happens life yeah. happens and yeah. and sometimes it holds things up and and it can be the most stellar couple weeks like all of this fabulous language that you're hearing and engagement and and all of that stuff and then suddenly you know uh, he yeah. covers his ears and you're like oh there's that behavior and again that I was on his birthday i was like why did these relatives come on his birthday <laughs> and they just came for 15 minutes <laughs> it, you know it doesn't mean anything it's not yeah. an indicator of anything except yeah. what you're doing is you're really realizing exactly why it's happening and this should make yeah. you feel better you know making him yeah. stop doing it is yeah. worse than just yeah. understanding why it happens you know what i mean yeah. and and just yeah. accepting it because it it is decreasing and it will decrease but it may pop up again and that yeah. anxiety might pop up again but your job as a language facilitator is to remember it recall yeah. it and get yourself straight or get on a meeting and go get me straight because every time you come here you articulate all five or six or seven or eight or nine beautiful things that yeah. he does yeah. and that yeah. is what the energy needs to come out of you the yeah. energy of yeah. think about how fabulous think about how celebrate and anticipate all the wonderful things that are going to happen when you're traveling yeah. just the yeah. airplane ride alone is going to be wonderful for a language yeah. facility yeah. So, yeah we're looking forward to that yeah and yeah so yeah I just um, hope this ear shutting business ends and then I think we'll be good to we we'll good we'll be good on a lot of levels. Uh you know ear bothering you know yeah. parties and yeah. things. I think these things will work themselves out and they're just yeah. necessary little behaviors and quirks and everything has and and certainly things could be a lot worse, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. You're just waiting. I think slowly as the language develops all these behaviors should go away too. Yeah, I agree. I think that that's a an accurate perception. Thanks for listening in today. Please share this podcast episode with anybody you think can benefit. And remember there are tons of resources across my Waves of Communication platform to help you get started today on your language facilitation journey. There's more than 200 free videos on YouTube, a daily blog in my group on Facebook, my book If it isn't fun, it isn't fun. Teach your child to talk faster than speech therapy is available on Amazon and Audible and my coaching programs. And all the details are on my website at wavesofcommunication.com. Of course, I'll be back next week with more information and strategies to help you continue on your language facilitation journey. Bye for now.